Hello everybody and thanks for checking in. It's time for another update, but first I'd like to thank the kind souls that are sending prayers and positive vibes. It means a hell of a lot and I sure do appreciate it, thank you. So we are still fighting the good fight. Actually, we haven't begun fighting yet. We're still gathering the weapons and getting prepared to enter the fray. I've chosen option three, immunotherapy plus radiation. And there's a couple of reasons that I made this choice. For one, it seems like a turbocharged immune system would not only fight the cancer that we have detected and found, but if there was some other cancer, some other problems that are hidden from us and we haven't seen them yet, then a turbocharged immune system might seek that out and destroy it as well. That's kind of my prehistoric brain making some kind of common sense decision. <laughs> We'll see how that works out. It's got me everything I have today. What else can I possibly wish for? On the other hand, this is a new cancer treatment and it is still being researched and developed and studied. If there is anything we can learn from this to advance the fight in cancer, then I'm down. Let's do it, sign me up, let's go. I'm ready to rock and roll. The type of immunotherapy treatment that was recommended for me for my type of cancer is called immune checkpoint inhibitor. And the short version of this is that your immune system has the ability to tell the difference between normal cells and foreign cells, which of course it uh, gears itself up and fights against a foreign cell and destroys it and makes you well again. But cancer has a way of hiding or disguising itself so the immune system can't really detect it that easily. So what the checkpoint inhibitor does is takes the brakes off of the immune system and frees it up to find and fight this, this cancer more easily. So the plan is this, next week for three days, they're gonna inject me with chemo to prepare my body for the immune therapy. And the doc said this will be like a mini chemo session and it's gonna be pretty brutal. So that should give y'all something interesting to look at me between my vomit sessions. It's gonna be awesome. On the third day, they're gonna give me the first injection of the immunotherapy treatment. And then we'll wait for three weeks and take another biopsy and see if there is any effect on the cancer. If yes, the tumor is shrinking, then we will continue with the treatment, which is one injection every four weeks. If there is no change, then we'll have to go to another treatment option and I will probably elect surgery, get it cut out, blast it with radiation, and be done with it. So I've got a lot of confidence that it's gonna work. And like I said, I'll get an injection every four weeks. And during this time, I will have my radiation treatment as well. And that will go on five days a week. I've already had my mask made, a radiation mask. It looks like this. If you've got head and neck cancer, then you're gonna have to have one of these made. It's not the funnest ride in the amusement park, I'll tell you that right now. They 
put it over your face and chest and lock you down on a table where you can't move, which is a good thing because, you know, you don't want to be moving around while they're trying to shoot you with radiation and it ends up somewhere where it's not supposed to be. So it's really a good thing, but holy smoke, man, it's, uh, it could be a Guantanamo Bay torture session. It's, <laughs> it's not that much fun. I've got a whole host of information about radiation therapy and what to expect and side effects and things. And uh, I'll get that to you on another video. So I guess we'll talk to y'all soon. Onward to the fray.